the real answer uh, is because the CIA is basically useless. It's an extremely incompetent organization. This is the organization that gave us Iran, the end of democracy in Iran, Pinochet, uh, the destruction of Libya, state of Libya, the rise of ISIS uh, within Libya, Al-Qaeda, uh, the Syrian disaster, and the Iraq war. This is literally one of the most useless organizations on earth. This leak that we are publishing now, this series of leaks, Vault 7, uh, it is the not only the largest intelligence publication ever uh, of material from the CIA, it is the largest intelligence publication in history. So the, the CIA... How much did the EU spend in Afghanistan in the 20 years? Look at the place now. We've helped to destroy it. But do you think we can learn the lessons without telling the truth about the last 20 years? The last 20 year war in Afghanistan is a lie. The Americans lied to their people. The Americans spent over $2.2 trillion and over $2 trillion of it went to private contractors. They used the war as a way of funneling US taxpayers' money to, a private, ent to private entities. What did the EU do with our money? Where did it go? How much did the EU spend in Afghanistan in the 20 years? Apart from enriching the families connected to the government, what else do we do with it? How much, the, how much evidence have you got of the infrastructure you just kept talking about? Before the Taliban took over, the number of Afghans living in poverty in Afghanistan has doubled since 2001. A third have no food, half of them have no drinking water, and two-thirds have no electricity. Before the rise of the Taliban, who grew from US and Saudi-funded the Mujahideen, half of Afghan university students were women. 40% of the country's doctors were women. 70% of their teachers were women. 30% of their civil servants were women. Look at the place now. We've helped to destroy it. Are we going to tell the truth about it? Or are we going to pretend, ah, we were, working, we were really doing loads for women's rights, we were sorting things out, only things didn't work out right in the end. Did the EU people know what was going on or not? And if you didn't know, why didn't you know? And is there anyone going to be held accountable for the amount of EU money that's been spent in that place and you have nothing to show for us.